Do you want to live 15 years longer? Forget about any anti-aging lotions or magic potions and watch this video. As they say, nothing in life is certain but death and taxes. And let me tell you, nowadays, not even death is certain anymore. Ambitious researchers in the Silicon Valley are trying to hold aging with cell rejuvenation cures, gene therapy, or even transferring our consciousness into machines that could theoretically extend our human life indefinitely. That's absolutely crazy and it'll look creepy too. After all, we're all happily aging right now. But that doesn't mean there's nothing we can do to slow down the clock for us. Check this out. If we don't get hit by a car or die of cancer, we are most likely to die from the consequences of arteriosclerosis, the narrowing and calcification of our arteries, which leads to heart attacks, heart failure, and strokes, among other things. So if we want to slow down the aging process, what we need to do is keep our arteries smooth and elastic. Don't smoke. With each puff, we damage the inner protective lining of our arteries and leave them vulnerable to accelerated aging. So basically, smoking jumpstarts the entire process of arterial sclerosis. Eat smart, enjoy plant-based, home-cooked meals and stay away from fast food, sugary soft drinks and processed ingredients. This way, we not only supply our body with all the antioxidants, anti-inflammatory compounds and fiber it needs, we also avoid spikes in our blood sugar levels that, again, damage our arteries. And next to not smoking and eating smart, here are my top three tips to pampering your arteries. Number one, exercise and physical activity reduce all our risk factors and even turn back our clocks a little. Really? Sport prevents the shortening of our so-called telomeres, the end pieces of our chromosomes, which are crucial for the aging process. Number two, manage your stress and relax. In our modern times with smartphones constantly distracting us and making us available 24 seven, ongoing stress has become one of the greatest threats to our health. And number three, find something worth living for. Social isolation, loneliness, and a lack of purpose in our life are poison to our health. Get involved with other people or join a charity project that you really care about. To put it in the words of the great German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche, he who has a why to live for can bear almost any how. And with that in mind, my friends, Remember to always stay true to yourself, stay healthy, stay happy, and don't forget your Dr. Hart.